my second grade. So today we are talking about properties of matter and classifying matter. And we are going to do that through making a root beer float. Now, in your seesaw, you have a sheet that looks like this. That looks like this. And you are going to need to answer the questions that are in on here after you watch the video. So pay close attention as this happens. So there are three stages of matter that we know about. Solid, liquid, gas. In a solid, the molecules are really tight. They're tightly bound. In a liquid, they're kind of like loosey-goosey. They can kind of move around a little bit. In gas, they're just floating around all over the place, doing their own thing. So when we do our root beer float, we get to see all of the stages of matter. We have our solid, which is our ice cream. I'm gonna put this in first. Ooh, making a little mess, that's okay. Science is messy sometimes. So we have our ice cream. And then we have our root beer, which is our liquid. We're going to pour that in with it. And when, we, when you open a can of soda, sometimes you hear a little ss or shh or something like that. That is gas. Did you hear it? So I'm going to pour my liquid in with my solid. And we'll probably see some gas because we'll see a little vapor and we'll hear a hiss. And when those bubbles release their carbon dioxide, that gives us a gas too. I'm gonna wait. Oh, I hope it doesn't overflow. I think it's going to be okay. So when we put the ice cream in the container and we pour the liquid root beer on top of it, we kind of start changing the solid of the ice cream to a liquid. That's why your, that's why your root beer tastes kind of creamy when you eat it with a root beer float because some of that ice cream is melted and makes the liquid kind of creamy. So let's say that I decide that I'm going to eat about half of this uh, root beer float and then I'm going to put it in the freezer. So what do we think is going to happen when I put this liquid and solid down, mm -hmm. put this liquid and somewhat solid because there's still little chunks of ice cream in there, you can kind of see them, in the freezer. That is one of your questions that is on your paper. So be thinking about what happens when you take these liquids and put them in the freezer. And maybe tonight or sometime this week, you can make your own root beer or soda float and see how these ingredients start as one form of matter, change to another form of matter, and maybe you can even stick it in the freezer too and see what happens. Bye guys, I'll see you later.